Hello everyone and welcome back to Keeper RL. Keeper Roguelike, as the RL stands for, is a game that I've covered a few times on the channel and have streamed several times as well. It is effectively a dungeon simulator. Think Dungeon Keeper, but with stronger roguelike and RPG elements in there. You have a campaign where you're trying to take over different dungeons in some cases, crush villains, both good and just the evil that doesn't want to see things your way. And all of this plays out with the backdrop of building up your, your own little dungeon and hiring minions to work there. Now, it is a roguelike, so there are... It is a little bit harsher than, than your typical Dungeon Keeper experience, but uh, for those of you who are familiar with the game, I hope you're going to enjoy this new mini-series. We've got a big new version with lots of changes, and for those of you who are brand new to Keeper RL, links will be in the video description down below where you can check it out and perhaps even purchase it yourself. I hope you're going to enjoy, but let's get down to playing. Now, one of the big things that you, you get now is you can actually play as different kinds of wizards, uh, sorry, evil uh, keepers. You've got the wizard, you've got the knight, and the different keepers will start with different technology. Uh, the wizard starts with more sorcery. The knight starts with, for example, um, knowing ironworking. Uh, you, can be, you can change your gender between male and female, but you can also, brand new in this version, play as a white knight, not necessarily a uh, an evil knight. You can actually play as the forces of good. Maybe maybe more of the kind of death pot good though, because you kind of still are going to be fighting um, other good people in much the same way as the keepers fight evil people. But uh, yes, we're going to be going with the traditional, the wizard of evil, and they shall be named not Fabiesta. I'm sure that's a fantastic name. You shall in fact be evil friend because. Uh, well, for two reasons. That's the first name that caught my eye on Dapital Discord, and it's also a really fitting name. Evil Friend. There we go. Evil Friend, the male evil wizard. Uh, build and manage your dream dungeon. Yes, we, we shall try. Welcome to the campaign mode. The world, which you see below, is made up of smaller maps. You will build your base on one of them. Though uh, there are hostile and friendly tribes around you, you have to conquer all villains marked as main to win the game. You can travel to other sites by creating teams and moving around the overworld. That's fine. Now, you can see that there is at least one other villain. There are other game modes as well. You can go through campaign, you can have free play just on a single map or endless. Conquest, not mandatory. Recurring enemy waves, survive as long as possible. Now, that is actually something pretty cool, and we may check that out uh, in another uh, playthrough of this, but we're going to go with campaign to start with. Uh, okay, so we will have access to the Dryads, a lesser villain, the Hydra, a lesser villain, a Cyclops, a lesser villain. Mm, no, I, I worry a little bit. They're somewhat powerful. The Giant Spider, the Unicorn Herd, the Cyclops, the Zombies, and, mm, and no, I'd rather something else. Let's see what we can do. Dryads, Hydra, let's find some. There we go. That's a little bit better. I just like killing tree spirits. They're very easy to kill with fire. That being said, I wouldn't mind seeing if we can get some zombies nearby. Uh, the dryads are away. But we've got an ally in this one, which is quite nice. Okay, well, we'll take this one because we'll have an ally nearby. Okay, it is time for us to begin. Ah, uh, it's been a while since I played this game. I do enjoy it, so... And so much has changed, including being able to build outside buildings now. Welcome to Keeper RL Alpha 26. This patch was released on November the 28th, 2018. Many new gameplay features have been added, so if you're a returning player, we encourage you to check out the change log at this uh, URL there. Uh, I've already checked it out, though, so we're good. Uh, right. Now, you'll notice a couple of things if you're familiar with the game previously. You've got these little uh, orbs showing us some... Um, some of the benefits that they have. Uh, we can see all kinds of things. Sleep bonus, poison resistance, sleep resistance, uh, sorry, speed bonus. All sorts of stuff. We could take control of an imp. We're not going to. Our evil friend doesn't really look like the, like the wizard that we selected. That's because evil friend has yet to level up. As our overall dungeon increases in level and prestige by us killing other, other entities or conquering other entities in the world, then Evil Friend will start to look more and more intimidating with uh, in and of themselves. Uh, we can see that they can get up to a limit of 12 on spell training, which is the maximum. 
And well, it's the it's the most it's the maximum functional level. You could keep getting a higher level and become more and more powerful at casting spells, but you will know every spell by uh, by level twelve. We can go as high as seven in melee because we're a wizard. We're not we're not a fighter. That's just the way it is. We've currently got a rope. Very well, evil friend. That's fine. We can go into direct control if we really want to, and I strongly recommend that you do it at least right at the beginning. Uh, the tribe of humans has been destroyed. Uh, okay, they were really close to something then. I Did we just level up? I'm not sure that we did. Usually that's something that we do. And then as a direct consequence of that, our uh, dungeon levels up. Because we've taken out one of the uh, overworld factions. But it seems that uh, the humans may have just been spawned right next to perhaps a... Uh, maybe a, a cave leading to a dragon. Or a bandit camp. Something, something bad befell them. At any rate, uh, about that's about as much explore, exploration as we need. What's this? This is a rage mushroom. I'm gonna pick it up. We're gonna take that back with us. What we got over here? Got a regeneration mushroom. Good. Or magic mushrooms. Don't really care about magic mushrooms, honestly. Oh, we got a ball down there, but I'm not gonna fight a ball just yet. That's probably uh, asking for trouble, really. Uh, this is good enough. Okay, we're gonna exit control mode. Uh, stand ground, ignores enemies. Team members won't follow the leader. No, actually, I do kind of want you to. Team members won't chase enemies. No, 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 I kind of want you to. But we only had imps, so uh, that is fine for now. Okay, we've got a, got a good bit of sight lines around here and lots of minerals in the mountainside. Now, oh, I failed to uh, check out that little area. Let me just quickly go and reveal that. Otherwise, it's going to annoy me. There we go. Done and done. Right, we want to start off by getting a nice little entryway. And I kind of like having the entryway off to the side, honestly. So we're going to go ahead and dig in here. And I'm going to have probably two wide corridors. I like the idea of having two wide corridors, honestly. And down here, we're going to have a system whereby a corridor cannot lead through a door to another corridor. It has to lead to a room, where a room can lead to another room or a corridor. That is how we're gonna build our dungeon. And I think it's gonna be rather marvelous. Uh, we're gonna have an, a little bit of an entryway here. Perhaps a little bit bigger as well. Maybe a circular entryway. I kinda like that. We can have a little little room down the side then. That can be our storage spot. So, get to work, imps. Now, unfortunately, they're not gonna be able to do too much work straight away. So I'm gonna want to uh, start off by having the ones on the outside just helping me out with gathering some wood. We don't need to worry too much about that. I would like to get some early beasts in this dungeon, though, so that we can start exploring. A lot has changed. On the side, you can see that we've got uh, creatures wanting to move into our dungeon, but we've got to um, satisfy their requirements before we can do that. For example, to bring in an orc, we need a basic bed and a wooden trading dummy. To have a goblin, we need a basic bed and a forge or a workshop or a jeweler. Many different things would be uh, would be fine for a goblin since they primarily just enjoy um, taking care of crafting jobs. Uh, we will have a corridor leading out there, but I'll, I'll well actually yeah, I'll pop down the the exits from this room. This is going to be a, a central room of sorts, perhaps even heavily uh, poisoned and trapped just to deal with any uh, pesky adventurers that try to get through. Now, we're going to want a corridor probably leading out in this direction. Uh, I'm going to say that I would like to have a cage area up here for some beasts. Let's pop that in. I am definitely going to want storage over here. Early on, you don't have to worry too much. You're probably safe from most things. What we really need, though, are more imps to help us get all of this building done early on. But as soon as this is uh, sufficiently exposed, we'll go ahead and we'll build some living areas, some beast cages. I'll need my imps to go and bring in the, the wood before then. My keeper is just kind of chilling out there. Has nowhere to go. Nowhere to be. Uh, we will gain access to the gold reasonably soon. Right, so uh, let's get a beast cage or two in here. We, we'll pop some beast cages along the side, I think. That should be good. Not sure if we'll get beast cages until we actually have... Uh, sorry, beasts until we have some beast cages in the area. We've got all sorts of new things. We can build candelabras, um, standing torches. Certain things will now increase the luxury of a room, which is quite nice, I feel. 
Um, sure, we'll pop a torch right in the middle of this room. There we go. Lovely. Continue grabbing the everything, please. Okay. Now then, we're going to want a couple of things. Ultimately, I do want to get um, training orcs. But I don't necessarily want to connect it up down here exactly. Maybe I could... Since this is going to be more of a, a trap area, I could have a little bit of extra storage down here. Or I could have another little... Um, corridor heading out and I I like the idea of having a little corridor just going off to the side something like that and then we'll connect up to another room down here this one can be for training so that my uh, creatures can immediately get into the um, into the main sort of hallway where we're likely to be battling adventurers so something like this would do quite nicely I think right we've got a raven does not trigger enemies when it attacks. Oh, then yes, I accept you. Okay, bit does not trigger enemies when it attacks. I accept you also. Fantastic. Two, two animals already. Let's uh, actually pause things there and check these guys out. So the bear, uh, satiated, rested, actively exploring caves. It likes to explore caves, eat, and sleep. Fairly, fairly simple, really. Assigned quarters. You've got a couple of different uh, quarters. You can give people burrows, effectively. Skill, exploring caves. Uh, it likes to explore caves. Very well. Oh, you're wounded. What what hurt you? I wonder. Let's have a look at you. Uh, activity idle. You like to explore. Okay, skills exploring. Explores all surroundings. Well, that's fine. Well, you just go get in there and uh, duck down for a little bit. You can heal up. A bear will wander around. Do a little bit of exploring. Having animals is pretty useful. They will do a lot of your your early exploration is very very uh, good to have up and running uh let's continue digging down Oop, that's not what i wanted i want to continue digging down here i would like to have an area for a couple of minions to sleep around here i'm gonna have a, a room somewhat like this i like to have different shape rooms you don't necessarily need to uh set things out exactly this is a game where you can rebuild walls if you particularly need to later on, which is quite useful. Uh, I'm going to want some wooden training dummies. Uh, I'm also going to want some light in here, so we'll probably have a light there. I'll get some training dummies on these walls. They're not too expensive. That's quite good for me. We'll get a standing torch. I'm not going to lay down any nice uh, flooring just yet. We don't need it. Uh, go ahead. I'll get another wave on there. I think that would be a good idea. You can just wander around, explore for me. We've got a couple of animals out there. We'll probably head out and uh, deal with them in a while. Now, the nice thing about them not, not triggering attacks is we're not going to get in trouble if they uh, they poke the bear, as it were, even if they are a bear. Uh, I'd like another standing torch in here, perhaps. Uh, sure, we'll pop the standing torch there. Get some basic beds going. Uh, we'll have three basic beds over there. Three basic beds down there. It seems my keeper is off to train. Fantastic. We're going to need a little bit more wood in here, I think. Slowly, the area outside our fortress is going to become very, very, very deforested. Ah, the dappling, the dappling curse, or legacy, depending on you know how much you hate trees. Right. Bugag the Orc. Very well, Bugag the Orc. Come, join us. Uh, your minions discovered the location of humans. Are they already dead, though? I think they are. Um, an orc joins our forces. Have a look at you. Now, orcs, if you have no particular skills, but you are decent at workshops, decent at forges. Uh, activity, training. Uh, you you prefer to craft. <laughs> you are okay with being whipped. I mean, you're not okay with it, but we can do it to rise morale, apparently. Uh, and your main focus will be training. You can become as good in melee as the the keeper. But, you know, the game doesn't end if you die. It does if the Keeper dies. So, definitely something worth our, worth our while there. Right, we've got peasant skeletons down there. Okay. Lots of things. I could send my imps out to gather them if I wanted them. Panic mushrooms. Uh, got more searching going on. Right, we've more or less explored the entirety of this area down there. Okay, cool. More or less everything on this side of the map is safe for us. Uh, I could get another beast. 
But our population is up to five. I don't think we need need any more right now. Right, the next thing I would like then. Uh, so we've got uh, an area there for uh, uh, minions to sleep in. I think I'd like a little equipment area over here. Let's just make something nice and simple there for our warriors to equip with. Well, we're going to continue this corridor, and then I think we're going to branch it into another room. Somewhere around here. Maybe even curl it around there. Mm, that might be worthwhile, because then it would give us an access point. If this place is filled with poisonous gas, the, the only way in here to get equipment isn't through the poisonous gas. Depends a little bit. We're also going to want to expand up there so that we can access the gold as well. That is going to be a necessity. In fact, I think... I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start preparing a library over here. Let's go ahead and get that up and running. Oh, my uh, bear is kind of messed up. What happened there? Killing looted greatly blows the morale of everyone. What happened to you? Wounded, sleeping. What did you What did you play with? You played with a bandit. You played with a bandit. Fantastic, bear. Okay. So we can see right now we've got a bandit hideout and it was the bandits that killed the humans. Okay. Oh, I answered that question. But there are some things hidden in here. Two things to be exact. All right. Interesting. Uh, I would like some of these items brought back to us, though. So I'm going to set up fetch items. This is magic mushroom. We don't care about the magic ones. We want the ones that have beneficial effects. Panic mushrooms? I'm not sure. I might be able to throw them. Uh, oops. I want to do that. Got a rage mushroom. Definitely want one of those. Uh, we've got a damage mushroom. I'm not sure about that one. Maybe it increases your damage or maybe it damages you. Hard to say on that one. Night vision mushroom. Defense mushroom. Definitely worth taking. Let's grab these. And of course, everything in there is now mine also. Uh, but it does look like all of those poor, poor humans were, were, were slain by bandits. Those filthy bandits. Right, okay. So we've got this little area down here. I'm going to set this up as an equipment storage area there we go and i'd also like another torch in here we'll pop that one possibly uh we'll have them well we could even just go for regular torches i don't think ha necessarily having this room have prestige or, or luxury is that important so we could happily just have two torches against the walls there there we go we've cut out this little room though fantastic let's get some doors down where we need them Pop a little door there. I like having doors. Uh, in here, we are going to set up. Now, certain animals will prefer to be out at night. What have we got? We've got a pack of four wolves. The entire group takes up one population spot. Does not trigger enemies when it attacks. Now, that is really good. We will have a bag on the orc, but we are going to get some wolves. Definitely want a pack of wolves. So, let's get four cages. And as soon as they are built... And we should be in with a bit of, uh, bit, uh, should be in for a bit of fun with the wolves heading out. Now, the wolves do like being out and about at night. Uh, where are all my imps? They're currently bringing back mushrooms. Get in there. Uh, can I prioritize? Uh, prioritize tasks. Fantastic. Let's prioritize those tasks. Want these done ASAP, please. Because I want to accept these wolves. Because we don't have, ah, uh, has it gone? No, no, we've still got 400 turns. There we are. Pack of four wolves. There we go. A boar is killed by a wolf. Fantastic. You've already already started. Right. They can see in the dark. But that's absolutely amazing, actually. Exploring. They prefer to do it at night, which is great. Uh, okay. Now, we could bring that corpse in, but we're going to need a little bit of stone before we do that, because eventually we're going to want a graveyard. Now, I'm going to make the graveyard. I could put it in there, but the problem with that is it the corpses generate corpse gas. Um, oops, uh, we don't necessarily want to deal with that. So I'm going to make a little graveyard. It's not going to be a particularly uh, large room, this one. Um, we'll have it yay big, I think. Two graves and a torch. That should be ample for that little room there. We could perhaps even expand out this area. Now, the wolves will tend to move as a pack. In fact, they'll already be in a pack. Uh, which would be pretty good. Play some torches to light your dungeon. I could do, I suppose, if I really, really, really wanted to, but I, I don't. Uh, so, let's get down to wooden bookcases. Let's get a couple of these in. Now, in previous iterations of the game, 
the room, you define the room, much like you do in uh, sorry, in uh, Dungeon Keeper, you build a room and then it gets the functional components added to it based on the size of the room. In this, most rooms now, are you expressly define what the room is used for by adding the functional components in, which is really, really good. I am especially uh, fond of that particular mechanic. Uh, you know what, sure, let's, uh, let's get this down there, connect it up, and we'll connect it up there. I do like the idea of not having, uh, not being hemmed in here. Let's build, uh, actually let's not build this room that close because enemies can dig through walls. Oh, water, okay, interesting, very interesting. Uh, we're going to go for a, a reasonable room for our workshop area, I think. There we go. Well, that is very interesting indeed. Uh, let's get another door down. There we go. That should hold things off in there. And we'll place a wooden door over here as well. Alright, now then, what we want is to gain access to a bunch of stone and iron and gold and all of this wonderful, wonderful stuff. Now the only issue here is, well, actually I can just put a, a, a door there. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. We are going to want all of this, and then we're going to want all of this as well. Let's get all of that selected. There we go. Perfect. Another four wolves. I'm going to say no to getting, well, they only take up one spot, but I'm going to say no on that. Because they don't get better over time. Uh, which is a bit of a problem, as you can well imagine. Uh, what we do want, though, is we want a workshop. And uh, we'll place the first workshop right there. I'd also wouldn't mind a standing torch in here. There we go. And I would like to get... Um, well, the thing is with goblins, they're quite good at manufacturing jobs. But orcs can also do it. They're not as good as goblins. We have a look at a goblin. They're 60% on the forge in the workshop, whereas the orc is only 30. But they can do so many other jobs as well. I'll allow them, but they cannot get good at combat. They they will never be fighters. It's just a thing that no no goblin will ever thrive in. Uh, I would like to have a bit of a, a throne room back here, maybe, at, at some eventual stage. But for now, we'll just have a little treasure room, I think, instead. Let's uh, pop something up like that, and we'll eventually build that to a throne room. I'm going to have it built off my my um, library. I just like the idea of the of the library being the access point to to all of my my gold and, and my throne. Because it's realistically where my, my keeper lingers the most. Insufficient light for my books. Interesting. But we can learn one thing, and I think that is because the humans are gone. The humans are dead. Uh, there we are. I almost launched into song there. Uh, we aren't going to need any particular luxury in these rooms, so I'm just going to go with regular torches on the walls because they give me more space. There we go. I'm not going to take any more goblins. I'm reserving the remaining spots for additional creatures. We could get some more orcs, maybe. That's definitely a possibility. Um, yeah, sure. Let's, let's get two more training dummies built. I'm going to need a little bit more wood for this though, so let's go ahead and chop down some more trees. The elves aren't going to be happy, and this makes me happy. There we go. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, donkey corps. Okay, well, we can eventually go and gather all of that stuff, but uh, you'll notice we haven't gathered the coins because there's nowhere to put them yet. We need this before we do that. Uh, and once we've got some coins, I will be able to gather some items. Oh, wait. The humans are dead, so I can just straight up pillage them. But I can't place the pillaged items. Okay, well, that's fine. We will eventually deal with the bandits. But honestly, I'm thinking what we might do instead is just let the bandits come to me. Because then I've got a constant source of corpses. And possibly bandit gear as well, which I'm, I would be particularly happy with. Could we perhaps prioritize this torch. I would very much like it if that torch were, were built a little bit sooner. There we go. And this should be okay. Okay, so if we look through here, we can do a couple of things. I think, as much as traps would be cool, we're going to go for iron working. 
So let's get iron working. Now we've got to conquer some more areas. We are at 49 of the 300 EXP that we need for the next level. But with that, we can build an iron training dummy. And I really like the idea of building some iron training dummies. We'll get two in there. Now, iron training dummies will allow people to level up a little bit further. Uh, if we have a look at these, the wooden training dummy will allow you to go to level 3. Iron is to level 7, I believe. Could be wrong. We've got an orc shaman. Yes, absolutely. We want more spellcasters. Now, they can take their spellcasting up to level 7 or combat up to level 4. They can't get very high in combat, but that's fine. Uh, I don't believe they can train. Oh, no, they can train. So they will do a little bit of training, but they're particularly good in the laboratory. Now, the way that uh, spells work, it has changed a fair bit from uh, the way it used to work. You used to have to unlock spells by unlocking higher tiers of sorcery. Now it's not the case. A unit will simply gain a spell. What used to happen is you would unlock spells, and then a, a unit would, tr would basically study at a bookcase and would learn a random spell out of the spells you unlocked. Now... If they meet the level requirements, they have that spell. So my so my Orc Shamans can get all the way up to Fireball, but I can take it all the way up to Invisibility. These are, I believe, special spells. For example, Fireball Dragon. That's not something we'll ever be able to do. Uh, unless we have a dragon on us. I would like that, but probably not going to be happening. So our Shamans can't use Defense, Summon Elemental, Damage, Fire Sphere, Meteor Shower, or Invisibility. But most of the spells they will be able to do which is going to be rather good rather good indeed now we would also like to build a forge the moment we have the ability to uh for the time being though uh let's allow you to get to work and i would like to place let's find storage some treasure chests four of them in fact and my imps should immediately launch into action Gathering up all sorts of things. Place some torches to light up your dungeon. Is there something that is not particularly well lit? Oh, is it perhaps in here? Is it maybe that these rooms do not have enough light? Uh, it could be, actually. Uh, since this is my treasure room, I'm going to say... I'm going to have some candelabra on the walls. We're going to go full swankiness there. So we've got a lot of... Right, we've triggered the bandits. They have been triggered by gold. If we open this up, because we've got a certain amount of gold, bandits will now start attacking us. I'm just going to immediately pillage the 50 gold, so my uh, my imps don't need to do any more work. That is great. Uh, they will start heading out now. An orc has reached level 3. That's great. Ooh. Permanent trait. Hates all humans. You will now be able to, to get minions who have specific traits. In this case, hate all humans. Even if a human was on our side because we converted a prisoner, we'd still hate them and we'd still try to fight them. Not necessarily a bad thing in and of itself, but also very much not necessarily a good thing. So we're going to avoid that one. I would like you to, to gain access to all of that. I'm going to build a little area out here to mine some iron. There we go. I would like some doors here as well. On there. And one here, so that these areas are isolated at the very least. Now, what I would really like, can I make this a better door? I should be able to. Hmm. Can I? Uh, I could lock that door if I really wanted to. I'm going to say remove this door, please. Remove this construction. Now that I can make better doors, I would like an iron door there. To prevent enemies from taking the shortcut into the rest of my dungeon. No, no, no. We don't want that. Now, a throne would be glorious. Can I make that yet? Increase luxury by one. Increase population limit by ten. Requires at least level ten. Okay, so no, we can't. <laughs> that is the simple answer there. Uh, but one thing we can do with the amount of money we've got, we can get some imps. Imps require gold. Oh, one of my imps must have already died for them to... Uh... Oh, no, no, we've got four. Uh, I'm going to spend another one to get five. Five imps, please. Get to work. There we are. Uh, an Orc Shaman learns the, spe the spell of Summon Insects. Have you just gained... Uh, yep, you're level 2 now. And if we check in here, just to make sure everything is working right. Yeah, Summon Insect is now available for you. Fantastic. But to get the next technology... Uh, we are going to need to click here. We're going to need a fair bit more, more EXP for that. 
Now, I don't necessarily want to just immediately launch out there and start harassing a group to their death. That would not... Oh, here we go. We've got a bunch of them heading over. Must be killed to capture the tribe. Uh, conquer the tribe. Are any of them leaders? Source of light. Those who are not sources of light, we can make items for them. I should have been working on... Uh, Weapons, honestly, this entire time. It's silly of me not to have done that. I was hoping to uh, just bypass a lot of it and go straight to... Um, straight up to iron weapons. But one of the things you can do here... I'm going to set up a new team. My keeper is going to lead it. I'm going to have my two of my orcs with them. My orc shaman can be there too. And all of my wolves will be there as well. I am immediately going to control my keeper. I'm not, I don't need to control the bear. The bear is already out there fighting. Uh, important, you're under attack by bandits. Uh, yes, yes I am. And I've got a couple of spells. Well, actually, I've only got heal self and summon insect. So summon insect, insects go forth. Oh, my shaman is already dead. Uh, okay. Well, you know, that's the thing that just happened. Come on then, you. You come down here. Where am I? Why aren't, oh dear. Well, one thing I can do is use this, immediate heal, use my defense. Oh dear, I may go down. If my wolves don't decide to help out soon, death is waiting for me. I'm going to just dump, jump in here. Uh, unfortunately, my wolves are not on their way. Is wounded. Can we not get them to follow me? Okay. Exit control mode. I'm going to jump into control. I really was hoping that the wolves would back me up here, but apparently they're not as interested in it just yet. Unfortunately, my my wolf has died. No, don't worry about it. Choose a new leader. You will be the new leader. Finish them up. Important, the tribe of bandits destroyed! Hooray! <laughs> I had kind of hoped that we wouldn't get all the bandits attacking straight away, but... Uh, and all my insects just hang around in there. You scallywag. Useless. Completely useless. Exit control mode. All right, then. Let's go ahead and build some graves in here. We're going to want probably three graves so we can start uh, getting all of the poison in there. Now, thankfully, my imps do not care about poison. It doesn't affect them in any way. I do need to prioritize building these graves though then gathering all of the bodies if you could please get all of that sorted for me that would be great there we go we may get ourselves a couple of undead soon then as a result of that excellent that'll do bit of, bit of a shame that we lost so much Ooh, we just got uh, some items there off the bandits what did we just pick up picked up a short bow Okay, nice. Uh, did we pick up a scroll? Heal other is now uh, an ability we've got. Uh, why is that in... Oh, did I just use a scroll, perhaps? Uh, I may have. Uh, there's a sword there. There's all sorts of items. Right, I want another shaman. We will take another two orcs. That was a bit of a bit of a shame to have lost so many there, but it'll, it'll do. We're fine for now. Fetch items. Uh, actually, don't fetch that one. That is a complete lie. Um, nope. Cancel order. Where is it? Cancel order. Hmm. There we go. That'll do. Bring the corpses in, though. They'll be useful. So two... Uh, oh, my keeper went down. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Oh, well. Worst things can happen. Right, my orcs should be able to gather the iron there. Hopefully, once my uh, imps have finished gathering all of this, we should be okay. Uh, well done, evil friend, reaching level 3. Now, we may have access to the next learning. No, not quite there yet. Conquer some more villains. I could take another raven. Don't need more ravens, though. So we can right-click just to get rid of that. What I would like is the next level of sorcery, honestly. Alright, what have we got in here? Got the sword mostly. Yeah, by and large. What are you up to? You're just chilling. Activity idle. 
Uh, you've got a teleport scroll. Fantastic. And a hand torch. So you are now a source of light wherever you might go. Okay, here we are. This is what we needed. I would like two pairs of gloves, two iron boots, two iron helms, two chain armors, and two swords. And for our weaker units, we'll get some armor. I'm not going to make any clubs. There's no point. Swords. Almost anyone can use swords. But I will make a couple of hand torches. So there we are. Our orcs who have nothing to do can uh, go and do that at the very least. I can now pillage the bandits. Is there anything to pillage? Oh, yes. There. Uh, wow. Okay. Loads of swords. I'll take all of the body bits and everything else. In that case, don't need swords being made. Remove. There we go. That'll do very nicely. I imagine... Where have they all gone? Well, I don't see them yet, but that's fine. Uh, so we've got reasonable amounts of iron. Some stone. I'm thinking of taking a goblin. Because we are now producing quite a lot of things. Sure, I'll have one, one more goblin. That's fine. We haven't got too long before day is over. We've got a cave down there that I wouldn't mind uh, exploring. Perhaps I should take out one of my ravens. You know what? Sure. Let's take a raven out. It is better than taking your keeper, by far, because your keeper will die. And then you will lose the game. As I mentioned, everything is expendable but the keeper. All right, what we got in here, then? Got a... Ooh, it does go somewhere else. All right, where does it go, though? That's the question. Where it's heading up to some of the unidentified areas. Got some dwarves, for the seems of it. All right. And a halfling, I believe. Hostile civilian. Okay. Uh, must be killed to conquer the tribe. All right. They are quite powerful. They're vulnerable to magic attacks, though. All right. What do we have in this chest? I can't open a chest. I'm a raven. What did I expect, frankly? All right. Well, you're... I know where you are now. So we're out of control mode. You can just head on back. Uh, we've reached level 5 in melee. Fantastic. Okay, that's not bad at all, actually. Uh, ooh. Permanent trait. Collapse. I have no idea what that is. Extra spell training potential. Bashat the Orc Shaman. I think we'll take you. We're not going to accept you. Because you're you're awful, basically. Uh, but, Bashat the Orc Shaman. How far? Wow. That is amazing. You can get... Like, almost up to keeper level magic. That's pretty impressive, actually. Uh, right, well, what I would like now, then... We need to increase our population cap. Now, there are a couple of ways you can do that. One of them is by installing statues. A gold statue, you can just build as many of these as you want, and it will increase your population limit by one. Or you can build stone statues. You can only have four of these, however. Um, but they take a lot of stone each. Um... I can build two. Is there much stone around? Yeah, there's some more stone that I can access, so... I'm not against this, and you know what? We've got a nice little area in there to build them as well. So sure, we'll go ahead and do all of that, and we'll get four extra population. We can use gold to get the rest over time. Uh, now, what we don't want to do is to trigger the dwarves right now. That is something we very much want to avoid for a little while. Uh, we've got some gloves in there, so our shaman should go about collecting items before too long. We could also hit up some more, more iron, probably wise. Um, are my, my imps have got nothing to do right now because there's only one spot there that they can access, so they're limited because they can't fit into that area. Let's go ahead and get some more wood for out here. In fact, let's properly deforest this area. There we go. What I would then like to do is I would like to install an eyeball. About there. This will give us some decent light on what's going... Uh, some decent intel on what's going on, but we are going to need some lights to be able to see things around the walls. But I have left this in the sort of path I think creatures are likely to approach from. And lit... The wall. So this eye, even at night, it'll, it'll shine a little bit of light around itself, so you'll get a little bit of sight. But the dark areas you won't see. It's basically fog of war. Except for these areas, although I won't see the areas in between, I'll see the areas that these are illuminating fairly easily, which would be great. 